You're often going to want to add content to your modules once you have them. You can add text headers very easily by choosing text header, and this will help you break up your or group things under module into assignments, into various groupings. So it li literally all it is is you just type the text header and choose add for that. You also have options to add assignments, quizzes, which we'll get into later, files, content pages, we'll cover those in this video, discussions, and external URLs. I want to show you a little bit about adding files. So I'm going to choose add file, and typically the preferred format for a file to add is a PDF. So once you choose file, you're going to choose new file, and browse on your computer. It's like doing an email attachment, so you can add document files, Word documents, but generally it's better practice, especially on the syllabus, to add a PDF file. So you just select whatever PDF file you want, and you have the option to put it in different folders. I'll show you folder management in a different video, and you'll choose Add Item. And then that will bring it in here with the, with the name. You can edit this, and you can change the title to something more friendly for your students. And then they can open it by clicking on it. Depending on the file type, it will either offer to open it in the page or download it. PDF files are usually pretty good, and they will typically open fairly quickly. Now you do, if you are good with computers and know how to do HTML documents, you also have the option to add an HTML file. And that is something that you can use in place of a content page. So I'm going to open up a file, and again select New File. And this is junk, I just want to show you how HTML works. So I have a test HTML document, and I'm going to add the item. Now, you might possibly run into a few issues with creating HTML pages for Canvas. If you're trying to link to images that are loaded inside of Canvas, it can be difficult to find the exact correct link. Um, but if you're good with HTML, you can do some stuff. And if you open it, even though it shows you the download option here, it actually opens inside your page. And this has internal links. You can't really, let me change this screen size here a bit. You can have internal links to your inside your page, and they work just fine. And you should be aware that if you try to do an outside link, your best bet is to have it linking to an external page to make sure that it works correctly. So you can do custom CSS, cascading style sheet formula in here, which is done here, because often if you're working in an actual page in Canvas, that information will be deleted and it won't leave your styles in. So you can create pages that have a lot more HTML customization, and you can actually embed them in here. But most people are going to prefer to use the Canvas page creation tool, which you would get to by adding content page. And you can just type the name for new page, add item. And this is a lot like working with a word processor, uh, with a word processor where you can go in and you can edit, and you can just type some information. In a different video, I'll go into a lot of the options for putting together custom information on one of these wiki pages, which will then show up in your list of pages. So that's how to add your most basic content inside of Canvas.